Orange County Business Council, the top priority for us is enhancing our infrastructure investments. This means, as Chairman Norby says, jobs for us. It means business for this county. It means a strong economy of prosperity. You know, we had some bad news already yesterday. Our 241 was not supported. Our 241, this was great jobs. Um, on top of that, the state's Old Money Investment Board voted yesterday to freeze funding for over $4 billion worth of loans for public building projects. This is not good news at the federal and the state level. But we have jobs right here. $1 billion of investment right here creates more than 28,000 jobs. 28,000 jobs total. $5 billion spent on road construction in California in 2000 produced over 28 billion in individual and, um, and society benefits in California. We need to improve our freeways and roads. It's critical to meeting our business needs. It's critical to meeting our residents' needs. It's critical to keeping our people employed. You know, we're the fifth largest county in America. There is more population here in just Orange County than in 22 states in the Union. Isn't that amazing? We need that investment here. We are a gateway to the rest of the nation for goods movement, for prosperity, for the rest of the nation. If Orange County thrives, the rest of the nation thrives. Nearly 3,000 jobs can be created here through projects that will directly benefit the bus system in Orange County, including the soon-to-be-launched Bravo Bus Rapid Transit Program. 3,500 jobs created by building projects to improve rail travel throughout this county. And one of these projects, not far from here, the Placentia Avenue grade separation, will take railroad tracks off the streets and allow the flow of people without being stopped by trains, and also goods from the ports of LA Long Beach to increase our economic <coughs> capacity for the, for the nation. We've taken an active role at the Orange County Business Council in securing our future over the past few years, working very hard for the passage of Measure M. Thank God we approved that. We do have funding here locally for these jobs, but it is time to get our fair share, as Chairman Norby said. We can create more. So check the OCTA website, octa.net slash ready to work for the number of jobs to be created. Share your comments with us on those jobs, and OCTA will then take your comments and send them to our federal delegation so we can get our fair share of federal dollars. We're ready to join at the Business Council with OCTA to get these messages out, and we're ready to work. Who's ready to work? Yeah. You betcha. We're here, the business community, labor, our residents, our electeds. Let's get to work. Thank you.